Hi, Trooper Jones here. We are currently at, actually, we are currently walking in on hollow land. Another western fort that was home for the Buffalo Soldiers. I'm currently at Fort Missoula in Montana. Fort Missoula was built in 1877. That's basically 11 years after the Buffalo Soldier Regiments were formed by an act of Congress in 1866. 11 years after this fort was built, the famed 25th Infantry was moved to Fort Missoula to help bring order to the northwestern frontier. And this was the home of the 25th Infantry. This beautiful valley along the Clark River in Montana. Now, on the fort, they have some old structures. One interesting thing they have here is this railroad uh, engine and the track at least off of the fort grounds and to locations unknown. As I walk around the fort, I can imagine members of the 25th Infantry out here as they did their, their daily tasks of garrison duty. Something that was thought that they would not be able to do because they didn't have the intelligence, the military bearing, the ability to learn and understand military ways. But uh, they proved them wrong time and time again. Over, over here, across this field, is the non-commissioned officers quarters, or what they used to call NCOs. And further down is a schoolroom for the kids of the officers and I think enlisted men that were stationed here. Over here is the railroad depot where the men would disembark after coming to report for duty here in the great Northwest. I mean, this valley is absolutely beautiful. One interesting and historic fact that I'm gonna tell you about the Buffalo Soldiers and one of the reasons why we are up here today. In 1896, a young lieutenant was tasked with finding some riders, some men, who knew how to ride bicycles because the Army had a, a project, an experiment, that they wanted to conduct. They wanted to see if there was a place for the bicycle in what was then the modern-day military. So Lieutenant Moss, who commanded a black regiment of soldiers in the 25th, uh, asked, do any of you men know how to ride? Eight men said that they had knowledge of riding a bicycle. So Lieutenant Moss and those eight men started doing practice rides in this valley, in this very valley. And they eventually worked their way up where they rode from here to Yellowstone National Park and back again, about 800 and some odd miles. But they were practicing for the big ride the great experiment. On June 14th, 1897, Lieutenant Moss and 20 enlisted men from five different regiments 
of the 25th, mounted up on Spalding safety bicycles, left Fort Missoula and commenced a 41 day ride over 1900 miles from Fort Missoula, Montana to St. Louis, Missouri to St. Louis. Oh, St. Louis. They averaged about 50 to 51 miles a day and they went further, faster, quieter, and less expensive than their counterparts would have done had they tried to do that same journey on horseback. That ride is considered the greatest cycling experiment ever undertaken by men in the military. And that experiment was performed by the Buffalo Soldiers. This is Trooper Jones at Fort Missoula, Montana, home of the famed Buffalo Soldiers 25th Infantry. And I hope you enjoyed that story. Trooper Jones, out. <laughs>